So let's talk about rules under Reply Mail Management. First, make sure you have the Rules tab selected here under Reply Mail Management. And let's look at what a rule is. So let's look at this unsubscribe rule that's been defined here. I'll click unsubscribe and we see that we have the name which is unsubscribe. We can choose to create a description for this rule and we can determine our search criteria. So this is basically just a keyword list that contains the words or phrases such as unsubscribe or out of office that Marketing Cloud searches for when replies are sent by our subscribers. When their email text matches a term on this list, Marketing Cloud automatically takes the appropriate actions defined in step two of this wizard. So we can choose this word or we can create a keyword list by clicking create a keyword list here. And when that happens, we can just define the name for that keyword, create the description, and use the keywords. We can separate these keywords with a comma, semicolon, or a line break and then we can click convert keywords. But let's go back to the rules section that we were just at. Now we're back here and when we're done creating keywords, we can choose them in this list here and we can choose to match the whole word or the phrase, whether or not we want it to be case sensitive, and then we can choose the actions that Marketing Cloud performs when a keyword match occurs. We can choose to add an email address to the master unsubscribe list, unsubscribe that email address from a publication list, and we can choose to add email address to our suppression list, which is basically a list that determines who we should not be sending messages to. Then we can choose our forward actions. We can forward the reply to a specific email address that we determine here. We can choose a triggered send to send to that customer. We can choose a reply action. We can choose to automatically reply using a triggered send and we can choose stop actions. So checking this box stops the application from taking further action on the reply once it executes the above actions. Then we can choose collections. We can choose to add this rule to an existing collection or create a new collection for this rule. A collection contains an ordered list of rules to be applied to replies that are sent by our subscribers. We can choose a standard collection or create a collection. And that's the rules section under the admin tab of Email Studio.